In a small community like Lusk, various profiles emerge. Some 34 years ago, a new club was formed in Lusk Library to promote physical fitness and the sport of judo. The calm, wise and modest nature of Jack Dennis and his family have been the energy source of the club to the present day. The balanced nature of instruction in fitness and in competition made fond memories for numerous young people who were members. I started by asking Jack when did his interest in judo begin. And I came to judo by accident in the sense that if it had been a boxing club in Rollerstown, I probably would have joined it. You know, but when I got to judo, judo became my life. And I mean, from, from then till now, I've been involved in judo right through. Also in, in Rollerstown, there was a guy called Neil Bracken. And he was, a, he was a, a, a guard. And what was happening is, Neil was, asked me to come over and I'd be his assistant, which was great because he was showing the people the throws and he was using me as a body. I mean, a body means the person that's been thrown or been, you know, and it's good for you, you know. But then things happen, maybe if there's a murder down the country and he had to go to, to, to a lake and go, he was the head of the sub team, team, you're looking for a body in a lake, he'd have to disappear maybe for two weeks. He'd ring, Jack, will you be able to take the class tonight? I'd say, no problem. And then he wouldn't be back the next week and the next week. And it turned out then, more and more, I was sort of being sucked in to take the classes. I was, I was fighting in Galway one time and the coach of the national squad came over and said, after the competition, I won it forever. I must have done well. And he's, he asked me would I join the, the squad, do squad training the next day. So that's how I got on as a join in the national squad. Judo is a gentle, we call judo, judo translates as the gentle way. Now, lots of times uh, in competitive judo, it wouldn't always be gentle. You might get bumped and bruised and knocked and things happen, but that's just part of, uh, of it. But there's a place for judo for everyone. Uh, you do, I was very competitive, and that's great. And uh, I love that element of judo, being competitive. But there's a, there's, there's a whole lot uh, of places for people that are not competitive. Just enjoy judo, go, and you can do it as a, as a keep fit thing. You can do it, and you can follow all the players. The funny thing about judo, I could be at the World Championships today and all high profile flags everywhere and everyone high profile and then I come home on Monday or Tuesday night I'm on the mat with little kids of this size and that's just as enjoyable. I always maintain I have seven children and at different times in their life they're all bringing in medals and they're winning all Ireland and they're winning different stuff and why should I put my medal up here say here's Jack's medal over there. Let, it, it's their day too, They're, they have their uh, pride and their, their thing, it's not about me, it's, uh, you know I love to see them doing well and uh, to be fair now, the lads are very competitive as well, and Ellie, and well Liz was for a while, but she's more mellow now, you know. But uh, Tommy and Johnny now, uh, they're really uh, very competitive and they love their judo. You know, so if you give somebody a love of judo, you're giving them a lot, you know. Yeah. This is my first time at fighting at the World Masters. There was a guy from Derry asked me a year in previously to have a go for the World Masters as it was, it was so local and said, okay, I'll have a go. So I met a, an English guy in my first fight, and um, Johnny, my son that I was talking about just now, he acted as coach on the day for me. So he was doing what I was doing for him in, in Spain, but he acted as coach for the day. But anyway, I won my first fight, and um, then you go away, maybe 20 minutes later, you'll have another fight. So the next fight, it was a guy from Holland, a Dutch guy, and he was a really tough, tough I found him a really tough guy, and, uh, but I caught him with a really big throw and just buried him. And that, that means I won for it on, which is like a knockout. And so that means I moved on to the, next, to the next round. And the next round then, I met an Australian guy. And um, he, was, he was a sort of a hard, he was very experienced, hard sort of a guy. So I was fighting away and the way I fight, I keep it tight, don't, um, don't um, give anything away. And I, I always maintain, if you get one score, you win by one. If you get two scores, you win by two. But it doesn't always happen like that. But this is the, the attitude you have to have. Don't give anything away. Don't go behind in, in your fights. So anyway, I beat the, it was the Australian guy. I beat him and I was into the next round. That was the, or the yeah, that was the, the third. Then I had, in the next, in my last fight, it was a Japanese guy. And not only Japanese, you all say, oh, they're the best because judo starter in Japan and they're, they're really the best at it, really, in, in, in a world level. 
But anyway, that was the final. And when, you, when I won the final, all the Irish guys were up there. And it was a great atmosphere. And because it was in Ireland, all well, our guys from the Dublin and all over the country were there. So it, was a, it left a great atmosphere, you know. Then we went to Japan. And um, as I say, the judo in Japan is uh, the best, you know. And where the, the competition was held was in the Kodokan. It's called the Kodokan in Tokyo. And it's the headquarters of world judo. Now then, that was the second world I went to. This was the third one in Austria, in Vienna. Vienna in Austria. And um, again, now just quickly, I meet the Japanese guy. I got a boy in the first round, which so means I had a free, I had no fight in the first round. So the Japanese guy that I fought in Japan, the good Japanese guy that gave me a lot of trouble, he was next up, fight up. So when I fought him, he just came at me with everything he had. He knew a lot about me, and I knew a lot about him as well. And um, I got a score, but he just came and came and came, and he was just working the hell out of me. And I got a score, and um, that was the end score. There was no other score, the, so I won the fight. But at the end of the fight, I just walked back to me, to me side and uh, bowed, and he was just absolutely shattered. He was throwing everything at me. But I was as composed as I am now, and I just bowed on like that, and uh, shook hands with him, and I walked up to him. And he was going to the same part of the stand as I was, we're sitting fairly close together. And he was over there, and I just went into the stand and wandered up the stairs, right up, it's a big, a big stadium, right up to the top, and around the corner. And just as composed as I am now, and when I got around the corner, I'm, <laughs> I was just dead. I, I was after throwing everything at me. This lad here. Oh, Sean Clare, the community council, presented me with this one. I'm not sure which year uh, it was that I won the Worlds, but Sean Clare presented me with this on behalf of the community council. He had a little ceremony at the uh, library. And then also um, this one here. I'm a painter and decorator, as probably you know, as everyone around here knows. And Sean caught the, the fact that I've painted a little paintbrush on a thing. And yet I've been presented with it as a judo man, so it takes in all the, just like Mrs. Kelly done a nice photograph like this of, of me, and uh, it's, it's again, it brings in my life as a, at the bottom of me is my life as a, as a painter, and at the top of me is my life as a judo player. So I like that photograph in that sense, you know? And this one here um, is um, Galway Judo Club presented me that as coach of the decade. So I don't know why they gave me it for coach of the decade, but they did. So, uh, so um, there was a dinner down there and um, you go down and you just uh, accept it and that's all. Then I won the, I won the world again in, in Brazil. And that was the, the, the one I won for Brazil. Judo is part of your life. It's not, sort of a, it's not like a bit of your life. It's a part of your life. You know, it's, it's more than a part of your life. Oftentimes I was uh, working somewhere and I, I had to go with a judo team somewhere on judo. Uh, well, work fell by the wayside quite quickly, you know. <laughs> and he said, I should have catch up some other time, you know.